Hello. In this video, I want to introduce you to the game of Alice Chess. Alice Chess is a chess variant created by V. R. Parton in 1953. Uh, v. R. Parton has created many chess variants inspired by the works of Lewis Carroll, and this is the most popular of them. This game is inspired by Through the Looking Glass, in which Alice goes through the looking glass to the other side, and she finds herself uh, amongst anthropomorphic chess pieces. Maybe we could, like here are some. And as you can see here, the game is played with your usual chess board and with another board serving as, uh, say, the board on the other side of the looking glass. So the idea behind Alice Chess is that when you move a piece, that piece moves to the other board. Like, if I, and the piece I just moved here moved back to this board. Uh, the computer has moved two pieces to this board. Now there are just a few rules to Alice Chess that distinguish it from chess. And no, I'm not going to describe the rules of chess here. Uh, I will assume you already know how to play chess. You have the usual chess equipment, the rooks on the corner, knights, bishops, king, queen, pawns. And in addition to the rules found in chess, we have just three more rules. One is each move must be legal on the board on which it is played. Well, we have that rule in chess, actually, but we have only one board. Two, a piece may make a move to a space only if the corresponding space on the other board is empty. And three, once a piece completes its normal move, it moves to the corresponding space on the other board. And because of these three rules, certain details follow. No two corresponding spaces may be occupied simultaneously. A piece on one board cannot capture a piece on the other. A piece can move to check a king or to block a check only from the opposite board. A revealed check can be made only from the king's board. And a king and rook cannot castle unless both spaces corresponding to where they end up after castling are empty. And I'll show you some examples of what I'm talking about and also get into how en passant can be handled in this game. All right, let's make some moves, make this, make this more complicated. And because I'm limited on time, uh, YouTube limits move videos only 10 minutes, I'm just making moves quickly without thinking about them. Oh, look at this. Um, the rook is threatening the bishop. If I were to move this pawn here, it's not going to protect the bishop, see? Because the rook goes here, and this space is not covered by anything. Oh, uh, how can I attack this guy? Well, I could attack with the queen by going here. So he takes that and goes to the other board where he's safe. That would be a bad move because I would wind up here where this can take me. So let's back up there. Let's try going there. Checkmate. Black wins. I wasn't playing very well. Well, since we have a checkmate here, let's look at what makes this checkmate. Here, well, looks like what we have here is almost just a normal checkmate in chess. Uh, these spaces are blocked, and King can't move here or here because he would still be in check there. Note that even though this, the course space is corresponding to this space and this space are unoccupied on the other board, and the king would be safe if he could move there, the move has to be legal on this board. So that's why this is check here. So let me back up and avoid this check. 
Now by not moving the bishop, the, the rook cannot move here and checkmate the king. So let's try something else. I'll go here, which threatens the rook. And now he goes over here. All right, let's get into some en passant examples. Okay, I'm going to move both sides. And let's say I move here. Black moves there. White moves here. Now, let's say black moves here. Note that white cannot capture by en passant here. It's because this and this are not on the same board. And since the reason behind en passant in chess is to be able to capture a piece the pawn could have captured if it hadn't moved only one space, uh, en passant applies here only if uh, the pawn it could have captured the pawn if it had moved one space. So it has to be on the space the pawn would be occupying if it could capture it normally. So here if I move this one space it goes here. Likewise that goes here. And now note that I have the pawn over here. Uh, when I moved it two spaces at once it moved over here but by moving it one space at a time I get the pawn here. And now I move here, and if I move this pawn here, then this can take it by en passant. That's a legal en passant capture. It is just as if the pawn had moved here and moved over here, and it captured it. Okay, let's show you where en passant will not work. Let's say I move that there. Make some move by white. And now note that this pawn cannot even move here. It can only make a double move. It goes here. And the pawn can capture the knight. But this move is no longer considered en passant. And this is my own interpretation of the rules. Uh, some people play the game without en passant. It's also possible to play the game in which, in this situation, en passant would be, a, would be allowed and the pawn would be able to make a double capture. All right, let's look at uh, castling. Okay, in this situation here, castling is not allowed. Uh, note that the rook can move here or here. It cannot move here because that space is occupied by the queen. And because this queen is here, the king cannot move and a check. Okay. Okay, I now have a bishop here. And this is, check, castling is allowed here. Even though the queen was here because all the spaces between the, two, the king and the rook were unoccupied, as is required in chess. These spaces were not checked. And this space and this space were unoccupied. That's all that's required here. In this situation, note that this bishop can move here, 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 but not here because the corresponding space is occupied by the queen, and it can move there. Let's say the queen goes here, that's checkmate. Notice that the queen is not protected on this board, uh, so it's legal for the king to move here, except that if he did move here, he would then go here, where he would be in check. So the king cannot move into check. That move is ultimately illegal. The queen covers the other spaces. The knight also covers this space. So this is checkmate. If you wish to play Alice Chess online, you can go to play.chessbrands.org where you can um, play ch it with Game Courier, as shown here. Bye.